Господин президент, лимузин уже ждет, так что, если вы готовы, мы можем ехать. Спасибо. Спасибо, Елена Ивановна. Ну, вы ей все объясните. Потом. Нам пора. Volodymyr Zelensky is the current president of Ukraine, formerly a popular host, comedian, actor, and producer. Especially popular among his projects is the series Servant of the People, the story of which has become a reality. In this video, we will tell you all about the life of a truly popular president who is not afraid to take responsibility for the future of his country and his people. How Volodymyr Zelensky lives from showman to leader of a nation. Volodymyr Zelensky was born on January 25, 1978, in the city of Krivy Rih, Dnipropetrovsk region. His ancestors were Jews by nationality, and several members of his family died during the Holocaust. During the years of mass emigration of Jews, many representatives of this nation left for the USA or Israel, but Zelensky's relatives preferred to stay in Ukraine. The future president's grandfather served in the Soviet Army during World War II and was awarded the two orders of the Red Star for his services. Zelensky's father, Alexander Semenovich, is a well-known mathematician, programmer, and doctor of technical sciences. Mother Rima Volodymyrovna has worked as an engineer all her life. When Volodymyr was four years old, the family moved to Mongolia. His father received an order to move to that region to build a mining and processing plant in the city of Erdenet. According to Mongolian laws, the boy went to school at the age of eight, where he quickly learned the Mongolian language. However, at the end of the school year, his parents decided that it was better for Volodymyr and his mother to return to their homeland. The father himself stayed in Mongolia, where he spent 20 years of his life, occasionally visiting his family in Ukraine. Returning to Krivi Rih, the family settled in the area, which is known in the city as the Ant Hill. There, the boy continued his studies at school number 95, and he soon forgot Mongolian due to a lack of practice. But memories of Mongolian fields of tulips and peonies remained in his memory forever. Zelensky was a straight-A student at school and the head of his class. He participated in different activities and was always at the center of attention. Interestingly, as a teenager, he was very self-conscious because of his low voice, but soon realized that his short stature and characteristic hoarseness were his shtick. Active and artistic, Volodymyr never sat around. He attended a theater club, engaged in ballroom dancing, played piano and guitar, and collected stamps. Zelensky was also fond of sports, wrestling, basketball, volleyball, and weightlifting. At one time, Volodymyr even earned a sports certificate in barbell lifting. At 16, Zelensky won a grant for a free education in Israel but did not go abroad because his father was against it. In high school, Zelensky, along with his best friend Denis Mangesov, joined the theater of miniatures, The Waif. In the 11th grade, Volodymyr organized a team of graduates who played KVN against teachers and defeated them. Interestingly, Volodymyr's future colleagues in the TV project, Quartal 95, studied at the same school, Alexander Pukalov and Elena Kiashka. In early childhood, Volodymyr dreamed of becoming a border guard, but already in high school he dreamed of becoming a diplomat and even prepared for admission to MGIMO. However, fate decided otherwise, and after graduating from school, Volodymyr became a law student in the institute where his father taught. In his first year while walking around the city, Volodymyr accidentally met his school friend Elena and didn't even recognize her at first. It's funny that during his school year, Zelensky was popular with the girls and was friends with many of her classmates, but he didn't even talk with Elena. The young people met only at graduation, but it didn't lead to anything, unlike this meeting. Volodymyr liked the girl so much that he was looking for any reason to start a conversation with her. Having noticed a VHS tape with the film Basic Instinct in her hands, he decided to use the opportunity. He asked Elena to borrow the tape and her phone number to return it later so the young people started talking. Only it was not easy to get the girl to speak to him. Besides, another guy was courting Elena at the same time. Then Volodymyr pulled the trump card. He called the other guy to talk and suggesting letting Elena choose one of them herself and the second one should get out of the way. The future first lady chose Zelensky. He attracted her with his intelligence, integrity, and wit. But her parents did not immediately accept their daughter's choice. The potential son-in-law seemed too frivolous to them. 
During his student years, Volodymyr was invited to the KVN team of a higher level to participate in dance numbers. Soon Zelensky began acting in the main roles, as well as helping with writing scripts. Слушайте, дедушка, что-то лицо мне ваше больно знакомо. Мы вас сковородкой по голове не били. Пока. Шутники. As part of this team, Volodymyr became the champion of the KVN Major League in 1997, after which he decided to create his own team together with his friend Dennis. The name of the team was born by itself because in 1995 the guys graduated from school number 95, located in Area 95. Volodymyr himself became the captain of the team and the author of most of the skits. In 2000, Zelensky graduated from the university, but he did not work as a lawyer for one day except for several months of mandatory internship. The diploma for Volodymyr was nothing more than a formality because even at that time, he finally decided to connect his life with humor. Zelensky's girlfriend also graduated from the university at the same time. Arlena studied to be an architect and graduated from the university with excellent marks. But like her future husband, she never worked in the chosen field. Instead, the girl became one of the authors for the Quartal 95 team Interestingly enough, at first she only watched her boyfriend from the sidelines, but over time she began to suggest ideas, come up with new jokes, and thus became involved in the world of humor. In 2002, the participants of the Quartel 95 reached the semifinals of the KVN Major League. At the same time, Volodymyr wrote scripts for corporate parties and concerts. In the 2003 KVN season, the team failed to achieve high results, after which Zelensky decided to disband Quartal 95. The pause in the creative field had a good effect on his personal life, and after eight years of a relationship, he proposed to Elena. The couple had a modest wedding, and a year later they had a daughter, Alexandra. After the team stopped participating in KVN, Ukrainian television became interested in the team. At the end of 2003, the One Plus One TV channel offered Quartal 95 to make a series of concerts consisting of the best team skits, and this was very well received by the public. Soon the Studio Quartal 95 company was created, and the head and one of the owners was Volodymyr Zelensky. At the same time, the artist was invited to take on the role of a host in the cooking show Mr. Cook, as well as in the Three Musketeers. He invested the money earned from participating in these projects into the development of the company. In 2005, the humorous show Evening Quarto was launched on the InterTV channel. Почему все вот эти наши большие политики пытаясь перекрыть свою приключения находят на нашу? Zelensky himself was among the creators, directors, and actors of the project. The TV program became very popular thanks to the witty jokes made about political topics. In 2006, Volodymyr took part in the first season of the show. Dancing with the Stars, where his couple won. At the same time, Zelensky starred in the TV series Police Academy and the musical A Very New Year's Movie, or A Night at the Museum. Since 2007, Studio Quarto 95 has been working with the InterTV channel on exclusive terms, which led to new projects with Zelensky appearing on television, Fight Club, Office to Romance, Ukraine, Wake Up, Paroblina in Ukraine, Evening Kiev, Make the Comedian Laugh, and many others. In 2008, Zelensky was acknowledged as one of the most handsome men in Ukraine, according to the magazine Viva. At the same time, the first season of the TV series Spotty hit screens, and Zelensky was the main producer as well as one of the writers. The ratings of the series broke all records, and over the following years, viewers saw six more seasons of the project as well as the full-length film New Year's Svati, the cartoon Little Svati, and the culinary TV show Svati in the Kitchen. The series Svati was shown in 10 countries in the world and is rightfully considered the most successful Ukrainian TV project. Zelensky as an artist was popular not only in Ukraine, but also in Russia. At one time, he was the leader of many Russian projects. In 2009, the shareholders in Studio Quartal 95 changed. In 2010, Volodymyr became the general producer of Inter, and several senior positions of the channel were held by the members of his team. Accordingly, the financing was mainly focused on the project's production at the Studio Quarto 95. At the same time, the film Love in the Big City, the script for which was made by Quarto 95, was released to screens. 
Представляете, мужики? Она отказала мне пойти в ресторан. Это было прекрасно. And the audience also saw its sequel. In both films, Volodymyr got the main roles. Then Zelensky starred in the musical Like Cossacks, the comedy Rzhevsky vs. Napoleon, and the comedy dramas Eight First Dates and Office Romance Our Time. Мы мрав про меня не спрашивал. Нет. Отлично. Сейчас совещание, потом могу запустить. Не, не, не надо. Я боюсь оставаться с ней один на один. In October 2012, Inter ceased cooperation with Studio Quartz on 95 due to an increase in prices for their products. In fact, the annual contract with the studio cost Inter $23 million. At the same time, the price was justified by the fact that the projects of Quartz on 95 were the most highly rated on the TV channel. After the termination of the previous contract, the company agreed with the TV channel One Plus One and only the evening Quartzel and evening Kiev shows cost them $9 million per year. As part of the TV show Evening Kiev, a political animated series Fabulous Russia was debuted, with Volodymyr writing the scripts and voicing them. In addition, Zelensky acted as a host in the projects Just News and I Wanna Be in Viagra, and also starred in the films One Plus One at Home, Love in the Big City 3, and Eight New Dates. In 2012, the Quartel 95 team was ranked second in the ranking of the 25 wealthiest media projects and show businesses of Ukraine. At the beginning of 2013, a joyful event took place in the family of the showman. The birth of his son Kirillo, despite the heavy workload, Volodymyr tried to find more time for his family and be an exemplary family man. Throughout his creative career, Zelensky boldly expressed his opinion about the political situation in the country. At one time, the man supported Euromaidan and the actions of the Ukrainian army in the Donbass. Together with the team, the artist not only performed in front of the military, but also donated more than $100,000 to the needs of the army. Due to the growing conflict between Ukraine and Russia, many projects of Quartel 95 were canceled in the neighboring country and the TV series Spotty, whose actors are mostly Russian citizens, was banned. Zelensky himself was opposed to the ban of the entry of Russian cultural figures into Ukraine. Despite the tense situation in the country, Volodymyr continued to make witty jokes about politicians, including Russian ones. Putin, we all say, Putin is a bad guy to Ukraine. Maybe it's not случайly, because Ukraine is a beautiful guy. Она ему просто нравится. И судя по его поведению, она ему нравится больше, чем Кабаева. However, not everyone liked the humor. And in one late evening of 2014, the artist was beaten by unknown people, as a result of which he ended up in the hospital with multiple hematomas. And after a while, someone set fire to his SUV. In 2015, Quartel 95 released a humorous show, The League of Laughter, hosted by Zelensky. In the same year, the sensational TV series Servant of the People appeared on TV screens. Мне нужно уехать. Куда? Сын он пообещал зоопарк. Олег, 40 бойцов, 5 снайперов, один вертолет, 2 часа на подготовку. Попроще никак нельзя. According to Volodymyr, he played the role of a regular history teacher who becomes president and tries to change the life of the country for the better. The audience liked the series so much that even then many dreamed of bringing it to life. It is known that a few years later, the series began to be shown in Belarus and Russia, but was soon removed from the air. In 2016, Volodymyr starred in the second season of Servants of the People, as well as in the movie Eight Best Dates. A year later, Zelensky tried his hand at directing, creating the movie I, You, He, She. It is worth noting that in about 60 films, Volodymyr is listed as an actor, producer, screenwriter, or director. At one time, he voiced cartoon characters in Ukrainian, including Horton Hears a Who, The Adventures of Paddington, and Angry Birds. At the end of 2018, Zelensky gave an hour-long interview about his intention to start a political career. And already on the night of January 1st, 2019, on the One Plus One TV channel, 
Volodymyr officially announced his intention to run for president of Ukraine. Interestingly enough, then-President Poroshenko congratulated him after his speech. Soon the final season of Servants of the People was aired, which became the candidate's election campaign. In the spring of 2019, Volodymyr Zelensky won the second round of elections with a 73% popular support rate, after which he dismissed the Verkhovna Rada, called on the government to resign, and asked officials not to hang his portrait in the office, advising instead to post photos of relatives and friends. Two months later, early parliamentary elections were held, as a result of which, the Servant of the People Party got the majority of seats in the parliament. Then, together with Volodymyr, many members of Quartal 95 went into politics. Over the years, Zelensky has established himself as a supporter of the fight against corruption and oligarchy. He finally managed to repair roads across the country and create such an innovation as the country in a smartphone. As for foreign policy, he supports Ukraine's accession to NATO and the EU. Taking the oath, the sixth president stated that the priorities of his team are the return of the Ukrainian Crimea and Donbass and the ending of the war in the east of the country. Initially, he advocated for building relations with Russia peacefully. But on February 24, 2022, Russia launched the so-called Special Military Operation. In fact, it was a full-scale war against the people of Ukraine, after which Zelensky announced the severance of diplomatic relations with the aggressor country. From the first days of the war, Volodymyr proved himself to be a true patriot and an example to follow for people around the world. Together with his family, he continues to stay in the country and responsibly performs his duties, and his trust rating among citizens now exceeds 90%. Popular support is especially impressive if we compare this figure with his pre-war approval rating of 24.6%. However, after the Russian attack, Zelensky became a national hero. In his election campaign, he stated that he was running for only one term, after which he planned to return to creative endeavors, which brought him a good income. However, due to the war in the country, the further plans of the politician remain unknown. In January 2022, Volodymyr Zelensky's fortune was estimated at $25 million. At the same time, his annual salary as president of the country was slightly more than $11,000. He receives most of his income from owning 25% of the shares of Quartal 95, which are now technically transferred to other business owners and will return to the showman after the end of the presidential term. In addition, the Zelensky family owns cash, shares, cars, and jewelry worth about $3 million. Before the Russian invasion, Zelensky's real estate located in Ukraine was estimated at $5 million. In peacetime, the politician lived with his family in the center of Kiev on Hushevsky Street in an apartment of 1,420 square feet, which he acquired in 2006. Now the average price of a three-room apartment in this elite house, located near the Verkhovna Rada, reaches $1.5 million. Also, Volodymyr, together with his partners, owns two apartments in Kiev with an area of 2,690 square feet and 2,150 square feet and parking spaces of 215 square feet. Earlier, Zelensky owned a land plot for 13,000 square feet and a house of 3,800 square feet in the village of Ivankovici, located 18 miles away from Kiev. The property was purchased in 2008 for more than $200,000, but in 2020, the politician sold it, according to some sources, for $230,000. In the same year, Zelensky put up for sale a luxury villa in Italy in Forte del Marmi with an area of 4,477 square feet, worth about $5 million. The two-story mansion on the coast of the Ligurian Sea was bought in 2017 and was rented for $14,000 per month for three years. Zelensky's wife owns an apartment in Kiev with an area of 3,050 square feet, the purchase of which cost $180,000, and several non-residential premises together with the spouses of Zelensky's partners. In 2013, Elena bought an apartment in Yalta with an area of 2,077 square feet for $160,000, 
However, after the occupation of Crimea, the Russian government illegally nationalized it. Together, the spouses own five hotel rooms in Georgia, which they rent out. At the same time, since 2014, they rent apartments in the UK with an area of 990 square feet, and it costs the family $1.5 million annually. As the president of the country, Zelensky has the right to free accommodation in the state dacha in Concha's Aspa with an area of 43,000 square feet, which he uses from time to time, explaining this by the need to ensure mandatory state protection. The couple owns several cars, a Range Rover for $180,000, a Mercedes-Benz S500 for $120,000, and a BMW X5, the price of which is not specified. Today, Volodymyr Zelensky is known all over the world not only as a successful showman, but also as a strong politician. He proved to everyone that he can not only crack jokes, but also solve serious issues. A successful showman is turned into an example of true leadership and a politician of the future with a human side, no matter what anyone says or does. Dear subscribers, do you like Volodymyr Zelensky? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.